Hi, I'm Craig Lukasik with Databricks, and today I'm excited to tell you about a new feature in Databricks Runtime 14.3, the State Reader API. This API will be useful to developers or operations personnel who work with Spark's stateful structured streaming. If you're unfamiliar with what stateful structured streaming is, you might want to stop this video and read the Apache Spark Structured Streaming Programming Guide. Stateful operators include things like streaming aggregations, time window operations, streaming deduplication, and my favorite, arbitrary stateful operations. The State Reader API is composed of two new data source formats, State Store and State Metadata. The syntax should look familiar to data engineers who know Spark and load from common data sources like Parquet or JSON. But what makes this data source unique is that it is opening up the ability to inspect the contents of the checkpointed state store data. Why is that important? Let's jump into a demo to see. We will start the demo with the assumption that we have data streaming into a Delta table that captures ad click events from a streaming media app. Before we show the state reader API, we will add a couple stateful streaming operations. One removes duplicates within a one minute watermark. And the other stateful operation is an aggregation over a five minute window. When the stream is persisted, a checkpoint directory is specified. It's here where the intermediate state is persisted with every micro batch. This checkpoint of data resides in cloud storage and allows the stream to be seamlessly restarted without losing intermediate state data. Well, now that we have a, steam, a stream with stateful operators, let's dive into the state reader API. We'll start with the state metadata first. This helps us understand the high level details for each operator. And we can see that we have two operators. We also see that there are 200 partitions. Uh, this is useful to know because the way Spark can scale the state store to hundreds of millions of keys is by dividing the state store across the cluster's executors. Each state store instance of uh, services a subset of the keys. Now for a stream with a large set of keys or large state values, the value of 200 may not suffice. Now let's look at the state store format. Here we see fine grained details of what is in the state store. This is a huge benefit for developers because before the state reader API, debug messages were typically needed to help validate the behavior of a stateful job. Now with the state reader API, unit tests can include steps to verify the, con the contents of the state store. And you can imagine how production is issue investigations can now be streamlined because the state store can be interrogated. So here we're looking at that first operator. And here we see that second operator, which is the dedupe within watermark. And of course, since this is a data frame, we can load it as a temporary view and interrogate it with SQL. So here we're looking for SKU. Are more keys assigned to some partitions than other partitions? Now we don't really see huge SKU here, but this is one benefit of using the State Reader API. So let's summarize some benefits uh, and wrap up. So the State Reader API helps minimize the pain for developers by removing the need to have debug messages guide them. And up until now, unit test strategies for streaming workloads often had to skirt around the fact that validating the contents of intermediate state was not possible. Similarly, the State Reader API opens up the possibility of better production issue investigation and remediation. If a production issue arises, the state store contents can be inspected quickly and easily with the State Reader API. Here are the key takeaways. 
Use the high level state metadata format to get a summary view of the state data and use the state store format to dive deep into the fine grain key and value details for inspecting this, uh, each operator. Consider using the state reader API to accelerate development, understand the parallelism of state data and provide more timely analysis for production issue investigation.